Okay, it's time for the next cocktail. Andy, what are we doing? Superb, right. You're going to need an orange. Yeah. And we're going to chop this into wedges. All right. Okay. So just cut the ends off like this to make it nice and neat. Yeah. And then you're going to cut it in half, long ways like that. Okay. And then you just take half your orange straight down the middle. Like okay. That. And then diagonally like that. Then we just grab our glass and pop these wedges in. You just put it in? Just put it in, yeah. Nice and easy. Okay. Nice and easy. Very quick, very simple. Just throw it in your glass. All right. We're going to add in some sugar. Why wouldn't we? <laughs> Indeed, yeah. So what we're going to do is use some soft brown sugar. This is Moscovado sugar. Okay. It's quite a small teaspoon, this, actually. So I'm going to go for kind of three heaped small teaspoons. So probably two regular. Just throw that straight in. There okay. You your turn. Thank you. So does that make it very sweet, this cocktail? I'm going to balance it off with some of the ingre other ingredients a bit later on, actually. But um, if you have got a bit of a sweet tooth, you could overload a bit more on the sugar, if you wish. OK. Um, now, grab your muddler, which is effectively a, a stick. Your muddler, a okay. stick. There it is. And we're going to crush it with this. If you, don't, if you don't have one of these at home, you can use a rolling pin or... You, know, you don't have to have all the fancy kit we've got. If you've got something that'll do the job... You can then. use the end of a wooden spoon. Yeah, absolutely. Empty. OK. So, put your hand over the top so it doesn't squirt out or doesn't make a, a, a chance to leap out of the glass. Yeah. And then just crush the sugar into the orange. Once, well we're, once we're getting that in there, and you can see that the sugar's dissolving as well, because that's the, the beauty of using this soft sugar instead of, say, Demerara, which is quite gritty. This will all dissolve quite easily. So, there you okay. go. Lovely. Um, that's fantastic. Into that, um, I'm going to add um, some Grand Marnier, which we've got tucked away back here. Okay. Um, so, this is orange flavoured, it's a cognac base, but it's orange flavoured, so it's going to really bring through the notes of the fresh orange. Okay. So we'll throw a measure of that in as well. Lovely. Up to you. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, hold on a, a sec. Hang on this, don't you? Wait a sec. Okay. Fantastic. We'll pop that down, we'll grab the Campari. So we've talked about the sugar, talked about balancing it off with a bitter ingredient. Campari is very bitter. Um, so we're going to just add in a couple of teaspoons, so 10 mils, okay. into here, just to bring the... the the balance. And if I wanted to make this non-alcoholic, are you just don't put in the grand wine and you don't put this in? Exactly, and you're just adding more tea okay. and more juice when we get to that bit in a moment. Okay, because yeah. I actually think that would be delicious, just with tea and the orange and... Aye! <laughs> just when I said you were getting the hang of it. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. It's close enough, we'll just, just throw it in. Right, then we're going to add in um, some ice. This will help to keep all the stuff at the bottom. Can I have some, please? Fruit. You can indeed, there we go. Thank you. And then I'll have some as well, why not? We're using uh, fresh ice here, not the frozen type. <sighs> well, keep you guessing. Yeah. Right, and we're using the, the ginger and mandarin infusion tea this time. Okay, um, delicious. Which we've done, we've made, um, simply as you would, a pot of tea, boiling water, and uh, let it steep to get all the flavour out, and then we've let it cool to room temperature and I've popped it in the fridge, okay. um, just to make sure it was nice and cold for our drinks. Um, so we're going to add in 50 mils of that, like so. And that will just combine to create all delicious sort of wintry flavours. It I will, imagine. absolutely, yeah. It's going to bring the spice through and it's going to really tie all the other ingredients together, yeah, for sure. Oh, this I is my favourite cocktail ever. So, blood orange juice. So, it's going to bring a wonderful colour to this. And we're just going to add that in over the top. This is really going to bring a, a luscious, kind of deep red colour to the drink. There you go. Okay. All right. Now, that drink's absolutely fine like that, if you wish to do it that way. But if you do have some ginger, some fresh ginger lying around, I'll show you how to make a ginger fan. To make what it do you mean? Dead I fancy. OK, let's so do it. you impress people. You just need a piece of, piece of uh, fresh ginger. Yeah. Your knife. Yeah. Then all you do is simply cut some sort of two millimetre, two to three millimetre slices. Quite thin slices. Two to three, what's that in English? Thin? Thin. Right. Yeah. How many? Uh, four or five. Depends how fancy you want to get with it. Oh, but ginger with the mandarin tea and the orange and the sugar. You really get into the smell of it now as well coming through. And the yeah. ginger on your nose is really going to help to tie in the flavours of the tea. Some little sticks, our cocktail sticks. Yeah. What you want to do is just um, pop them straight through the middle like that. Keep them close together. And just pop them through the end. So not in the middle, but down towards, yeah, down towards the end. There we okay. Go. And then, can you guess what you do? You yes. fan it out. So you just go like that. And it oh, nice this fan. is joyful. There you go, you see? That see, looks brilliant. It's quick. It smells so delicious. It's lovely, isn't it? It's quick. That was, you know, if you're taking 10, that's definitely under 10 minutes. It looks dead fancy. Look at that. It's been truly magnificent. That is delicious. It smells great. It smells Tastes good amazing. too. amazing. And the best thing is, 
Oh my gosh, that's properly delicious. So why not invite some friends round and take 10? You can download all the recipes, twinings.co.uk.